So, just a couple of days ago, Mojang went ahead and messed up by releasing on their very own website the name of the next update, a biome inside of it, and a mob. And then, just a couple of days later, out came everything else. Leaks. Oh my god, they're adding plumbing to Minecraft. Minecraft leak. Oh, we're in good. New mob leak? The leaks are so cool. Why are people complaining? The leaks are fake. I'm so sad. My favorite video game. What are the leaks? Well, we're trying to avoid Minecraft leaks well about as well as I expected. I'm pissed at the Minecraft leak. You couldn't really wait 24 fucking hours. So, as far as I'm currently aware, this gives us three new pieces of information. Number one, that we're going to be getting a new biome in the next update. Number two, that we're going to be getting a new mob. And number three, Someone over at Mojang is definitely getting fired. And much like the rest of the YouTube modding community, I'm absolutely scrambling to get this update out before Mojang can. So let's get started. So today I'll be doing my best to code both the mob and also the biome, or what I think the biome should be like. And to begin with, we should probably start with the models. So a really important part of this process is going to be getting the model for the uh, creature right. As you can see, it's pretty significantly horror themed, and um, the problem is that there's no clearer photo than this one that I've found online so far, which means not only do I have barely anything to work with, I'm just going to have to count the pixels. But anyway, uh, I'm going to model it and uh, texture it, animate it, so we can get it in game. Okay, so I finally finished texturing him. Uh, he's pretty well ready. If you look up there, pretty similar. There's only one last thing I have to do. Perfect. Look at that. Anyway, let's get this going again. I've just done a bunch of coding. Let's just see if it works again. Fuck me, it's crashed. All right, let's try that again. All right, let's try take two. Will it spawn? Oh yeah, it does, baby. It looks kind of funny right. <laughs> It looks kind of funny right now, but it's there. Look, it's in the game. That's what we like to see. Okay, so I've got him in game now and he's not frozen. I haven't added the big shadow. This is out of the leaked concept image. You can see right there. Uh, but yeah, now when you punch him now, his limbs swing with the animation I added, which means that we can finally start adding uh, AI and stuff so we can walk around. So my idea for the Kraker is pretty much to work it like a weeping angel. I've seen a couple of people talk about it like that. And luckily for me, I already had the code inside of a previous entity from a previous mod. And basically what this block of code does is it checks 20 times a second to see if the player is looking in its general direction. And if not, then it will allow it to attack because if it is looking at it, it means that the target will be set to null, i.e. it won't be able to target the player as a hostile entity. Which means now I need to add walking to it so it can walk around randomly, and I also need to make it so it can actually hit the player. Alright, this is going to be the moment of truth to see if it works. Come on, walk somewhere, do it. It walks, it can walk around, okay, now watch this. Basically, if I'm looking at it, it's not going to target me. But if I look away, ooh, look out, here it comes. I really need to make it faster. But anyway, uh, that's that's the entity pretty much done. I'll add some speed to it and we'll look at it again in the end. But uh, now it's time to add the blocks and other functionality that I wanted to get going. Okay, so after about two hours of coding, I think I'm finished with the blocks. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of just going to hope. But uh, here's what the inventory looks like now. God fucking damn it. Oh my god, it worked this time. So this is now how the inventory looks. We've got the creaking spawn egg and obviously all of the different pale wood and also the pale vines and the main growth block because it looks like in the image there was kind of some moss type block uh, so I added that as well and also there's one screenshot where they're hovering over a block called the creaking heart and I believe this is kind of like the root of the biome so let me explain so basically Mojang's number one rule when it comes to adding features is to make sure that something destructive doesn't actually get activated without the player interacting with it and the problem is that as far as I'm aware this biome is going to spread and obviously damage the area around it so what I believe is that the player will get a hold of this creaking heart and then that will cause the spread of the biome. So basically they will place this block down which will cause the blocks around it to convert into other types of blocks. And so I've gone ahead and done that. Anyhow, watch this. Yeah, that seems to be working as intended. Honestly, I I've had worse outcomes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. It's kind of working. Okay, I'm going to rejig that code. So in the end, the code ended up working like this. Basically, it would randomly tick the block, allowing it to spread in a random direction only if the certain block is nearby. If it's, for example, something under the Skulk replaceable tag, it would turn into a block state growth, which happens to be the pale growth block. However, if it was a logs or leaves tag, then it would turn into the pale logs or pale leaves respectively. So it's pretty simple, but it's pretty damn effective. Okay, this time, for sure it'll work. You gotta trust. Alright. Come on, please work. Come on, please work. Yep, 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 come on, hit the tree, hit the tree, this is, hit the tree, it works, the biome spreads, okay, so basically the, it'll just spread from there, and all of these blocks will spread to each other, and this should just overtake this entire island, let's have a look at that, oh, that is so good, oh, that is so good, that is so amazing, oh, that worked so well, oh, it even got that tree there, Oh, it's going out there. Oh no, it's escaping. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it works perfectly. Okay, that's pretty- I think that's every feature that I had written down. 
That is amazing, look at that. So, after like half a day's work, I finally present to you the final version of the mod that I'll be working on today, before Minecraft Live. Here's the final inventory, so let's go through all the blocks before I look at the mob, and also the final spreading mechanic. Obviously, made some of the good old, good old normal planks, wood, everything you need in wood. It's just a white wood, there's not a lot for me to say about it. It's got a slightly pink tinge to it like it did inside of the spoilers, but uh, otherwise, you know. They've got fences, gates, uh, the usual, a door, a trap door, a pressure plate which you can walk on, and obviously a button. So these are all craftable with obviously the pale planks which can be made from the pale logs, which I'll show you how to get in just a second. I also added these pale vines which you could also see inside of the spoilers, and obviously uh, you can climb up them and they will drop themselves, but that's pretty much it, there's not a lot else to them. And then of course we have the creaking. This was the mob that was teased and leaked, and here it's walking around in game, and in survival mode it will freeze up when I'm looking at it, but if I look away, it will start to target me. So basically it's, it's a slow weeping angel that will follow around the player, and if you're looking at it then it won't start to attack you unless you look away, and if you look Back, it'll stop moving again. The creaking themselves will actually wait until nighttime and then they'll start spawning on these blocks, so that's the only way they're actually able to spawn into the game. And of course, their eyes glow when it's nighttime, you know, as expected. Now, as for the actual corruption biome, here's how you get it now. To make sure this is a late game thing so you don't have to deal with those creatures early on, you can craft it using a skull catalyst which is only found inside of the deep dark. And there you go, now you have a creaking heart. And obviously, once you go over to an area and place down the creaking heart, Oh, there it goes, it's starting. Anyhow, to make sure this mod's actually of some form of quality, I got one of my friends online to just double check, you know. You should be able to open your inventory, and uh, yes, there should so. be a bunch of stuff. Uh, don't touch the spawn oh. egg, but that's all the stuff I've added today. I see. I see. Yeah, so uh, I like this. in the leaks, they're pretty much just a white wood. Uh, it's kind of grey. Yeah. I Genuinely, I grabbed the oak plank, shifted it to a pink colour, and then desaturated it. Uh, that's all the basic building blocks. All right, so um, this is the this is the mob that they announced. And uh, oh yeah, he, he chills out. He's, he's chill. Oh, and he, he creaks. He does creak. Turn around. Is that... um? Oh. <laughs> it's the okay. angel again. Be like one around, it's coming for you. It's coming for you. Oh! Considering that I already had the code, I was quite happy about that. So that's <laughs> good. Yeah. I mean, it looks great as well. Yeah. This is pretty much almost identical to how it looked. I think it was a bit more saturated in the um, other image. Mm. But that's all right. <laughs> one of Minecraft's rules is that you can't. They can't add anything destructive that isn't caused by the player. And someone's idea was that the new biome was going to be like a corruption type thing, so it would spread between mm. blocks. And then, yeah, so the final function was pretty much a biome. So here is the uh, item, a creaking heart, um, which is one oh. of the things that they were showing off in the in the leaks. And if you go ahead and place that down for me, pretty much anywhere. I'm oh! Oh, wait, wait no, I did it. It's spreading. Oh, there oh. it goes. It's moving. Oh my god. Yeah, in the in the leaks, it, it was kind of like a dark oak biome. It looked a lot like a dark oak biome, like something had spread throughout that. So it looks <laughs> the best here. Ooh. Yeah, fly up a bit and look at, look at the trace. Oh my god. Okay, that's cool. That's so cool. Oh, that's so sick. Look, and look, the vines are growing. The vines oh are growing. Oh my god. That's so cool. Uh, oh so, yeah, my that's, god. That's what I spent half my insane. day doing. Insane. Oh, it's, it's actually sick. I don't, I, being fully honest, it's just so cool. <laughs> I'm watching it grow so much. Oh my god. And this yeah, and it looks, looks so, so sick once it's done. Yeah, I could. And that just like doesn't. I've never seen that. There's, that's, there's no mechanic of that in Minecraft. Like, except so for stuff that's yeah. all underground. But yeah, this is just like... It fully Ooh. looks dead, bro. It feels freaky. Yeah, anyway, uh, that's the entire mod. Oh my god. You smashed it. Oh my... Oh, this is crazy. Anyhow, thank you for watching. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed making all these features. This will probably be available on Mod Rent in the next few days. Otherwise, make sure to join my Discord or subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.